Carly Rae Jepsen and Tug of War. Barry's at work station, FM 93 at 725. Good morning. We have Don McNeil with us and our very special co-host this morning, Sam Reed of Glass Tiger. How you doing? I'm uh, really good, Christy. I'm just looking through my little, uh, it's like a Christmas sock. It is, yeah. yeah or like a little stocking. I, stocking? You, you came all this way, so I figured I, I had to do something for you. And is, is this lip gloss? No, no. it's silicone it? hand cream. Ah. So if you're like me and you wash your hands Very a million nice. times a day with all this H1N1 stuff, it, it'll keep you nice and soft. Well, this is terrific, and, and I have a, a basket of, like, candy. I know. This is, I admit, this is I did a little bit of baking, so you've got like brownies and Nanaimo bars and the whole kit and caboodle. So well, thank you very much. I hope you enjoy. Uh, you know, something quite incredible. It made me very proud when I read the Glass Tiger went to Afghanistan in support of our Canadian troops. And in the mind of people who are here in Canada, I don't think we realize how much different it is over there. It, just a completely different mindset, a whole different set of rules. What was it like when you stepped off of the uh, the airplane or the helicopter and you were in a, a different world? It is a little bit of a surreal kind of feeling. Uh, and then you realize that we have so many of our, you know, hardworking men and women over there. And this is basically their home for six months while they're on tour. And, and going, getting a chance to see them, what they call in theater, uh, which I love that word. But, uh, you know, it's what they, what they do. It's firsthand, uh, some FaceTime with them one-on-one. -on -one. It's just incredible. And, yeah, it really is a very unusual place in the world. I mean, the terrain is so different. Uh, there isn't a tree. I mean, there's nothing green. It's just a big dust bowl of dirt. Now, did you guys get to interact with the Afghan people? We we did, um, and actually, actually, that was one of the one of the things that was a real treat. Where we we were allowed to go, <clears throat> sort of what they call outside the wire, uh, and they took us through some Afghan villages where uh, we've our our troops have set up some schools, uh, and basically brought like fresh water to some of these towns. And we were we were brought in to meet some of the local children, uh, and and see some of the schools that they had built, and and that was that was pretty cool. We walked through through the village. Was there just a, an immense feeling of pride for what the country has done? Well, I think the, uh, you know, the, the thing is, uh, and, and this is a message that, uh, that we really rang true for us, is, um, you know, whether, you know, we didn't go over there to fight a war. Uh, it's it's this all this liberation stuff. It's it's women's rights, women and children's rights. It's just unbelievable, um, you know, uh, you know how backwards they are with, with those. And when you get to see the work that's done, I know a lot of the uh, unfortunately a lot of the casualties um, gets the headlines. Uh, but when you see firsthand, uh, you know, a village that has now running water and children that are now going to a school, and you know, th those are really proud moments. And the men and women that are doing that over there are immensely proud of that. Wow. Well, we're going to talk more about Afghanistan a little later on because I'm sure that you have a lot more to say about like just memories and uh, observances. I, it's fascinating and I just think it's so cool. We'll talk to Sam Reed after 7.30. Barry's Fresh Music Mix, FM 93. Barry's Fresh Music Mix, FM 93 at 7.56. Good morning, Sean, Dave, and Christy, usually, but Sean and Dave off today. And uh, I've actually got a very special guest this morning, Sam Reed of Glass Tiger. And we were talking uh, about a half an hour ago about your trip to Afghanistan and how uh, it changed the way you think about the mission and how the majority of Canadians are firmly behind the troops because we believe in what they're doing. What is the one thing that you brought back with you, the one insight into what's going on? Well, I, I think the, the main thing is, uh, is uh, uh, how immensely proud uh, these men and women are uh, to serve Canada over there. And, and, the, and the people that are over there, um, they're so dedicated to that mission, despite the uh, obstacles. I mean, it's a, tough, it's a tough part of the world. It's a very tough mission. Um, but they are so energized. Uh, it's um, unbelievable when you get to spend some time one-on-one -on -one with them. And they know the work they're doing is, is is worthwhile. And when you get to see firsthand, like I said, in the villages, uh, you you meet some of the local Afghans. It, it's a very very tough situation, and it's unfortunately not one that's going to be solved overnight. So it's uh, it, it's going to be drawn out in that. But there's tremendous work being done over there, and uh, and our sort of our reason for going over was to let them know that that Canada really does care. A very heavy subject. However, they do have a Tim Hortons. Yeah. <laughs> what was that like walking into the base in Afghanistan and seeing a Tim Hortons? 
Well, you know what? It is it is a, a nice reminder of home. Uh, and what I thought was amazing was uh, the other Allied forces, the the Dutch and the and the uh, the U.S. guys, and that, they're all lined up with the <laughs> with the Canadians. <laughs> I think I saw more of the uh, the other countries line up. They love Tim Hortons as well. And uh, uh, the only thing I, I uh, with General Natenchuk, um he uh, he uh, when he, he came uh, one morning, he was wearing the, there's a camo Tim Hortons hat. No, right? And you, you can, it's a scratch and win. Like, you know the scratch, the roll up and <laughs> yeah. win? And I, I was wondering, like, what do, you, what do you win when you roll up? The, do you win a tank or something? Like, what, what do you win on these things? And it turns out it's this, this really hard-to-find camo, camouflage Tim Hortons hat. And when I saw the general, I said, well, you pulled some strings to get that. And he said, no, Sam, I, I didn't. I, I won it. So he bought a coffee and won it. So I thought maybe he pulled some, some weight with that. But uh, I, ended up, um, I ended up getting one. My, my daughter uh, knows somebody that works at Tim Hortons. So I actually got it after the trip. But it was really hard to get this this Tim Hortons hat everybody wants. So. <laughs> well, you know what? You guys had some T-shirts made up for your trip to Afghanistan. And I happen to have a couple of them here, along with Glass Tiger's No Turning Back 25th Anniversary DVD. I've got the CD, No Turning Back, and I've also got a copy of Glass Tiger Live. Two prize packs. I'm looking for my first two callers. 1-877-242-9931. 1-877-242-9931. Don't forget.